Hey, what's good? It's your boy, Matthew Michael. And in this video, we are going to be going over how to set up a PC so you can mine crypto in your spare time while you're not using the graphics card. And for those of you who don't know when the graphic card is not being used, uh, basically for basically everyday tasks, if you're on like YouTube, uh, checking your email, anything like that, you're not going to be using the graphic cards. The only time the graphic card is really going to be in use is if you're uh, gaming or doing some type of uh, heavy video processing, or maybe even like uh, doing 3D modeling, anything like that. But uh, other than that, you're, you're not gonna be using the graphics card. So, you know, things gonna be free to make you money. So without further ado, uh, let's hop into the computer and take a look at how we do that. All right, so we made it, we're on the internet. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is go to nicehash.com. All right, so this website makes it really simple, really easy. It basically has everything. So um, the first thing you'll probably wanna do is answer the question, is this even gonna be profitable for you? Cause uh, using this graphics card, it's gonna take up, a, it's gonna use a lot of memory. So a good way to kind of check and see if it would be profitable for you is right here where it says, check your profits. And really, um, once you click on that, there are two things you can do. You can either have it auto detect for what graphic card you have, or you can enter it in manually. Uh, I'm gonna have it auto detect uh, just because um, I'm lazy. So yeah, I'm gonna let it auto detect. And it's gonna have you download something and detect, and it, but it really just takes like a second. So I'm gonna do that right here for y'all to see. I'm gonna hit open file right here. All right, now it's downloaded and now it detected I have an NVIDIA 3070. I also have an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, but uh, processors, mining with those, it's almost not even worth your time. It's definitely, you're, you're gonna lose money doing that. All right, so right here, if you once you click show earnings, it'll show uh, what your expected profitability is. So I'm gonna hit show earnings. And it says right now, my approximate income accounting for uh, my electricity costs and everything would be about $3.81 a day. And if we look at this over the span of a week, that's $27. Um, over the span of a month, that's $125. Uh, but for me, my electricity is actually a little bit more than that. And I'm actually gonna have to change mine to 1.4, which is going to take down my profitability a little bit but um, it's, it's good to know uh, if it's profitable for you, if it's even worth it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do in the, in the way that I found that is, um, on my electricity bills, uh, usually somewhere on your electricity bill, you can see the cost per kilowatt hour. And that is what you're gonna wanna put in right here where it says electrical cost. So uh, I'm gonna hit calculate uh, the amount I make per day is obviously gonna drop, but yeah, let's see if this would still be profitable for me. All right, so the profitability per day definitely went down, but uh, still looking throughout the month, it's, it's still looking good. So I'm definitely cool with $3.65 in a day. All right, so now that you kind of have all that taken care of, you know that it's gonna be profitable for you, or maybe it's not. Um, if it's not gonna be profitable, uh, maybe, get a better graphics card. And one thing I love about this is this can kind of pay it off over time. It's definitely not gonna be anything fast. Um, it's probably gonna take about a whole year for me to pay off this entire PC. But um, after that, it's a PC that's mine. And then I have Bitcoin that has hopefully appreciated in value, um, even though we're kind of going through a rough patch right now. This definitely isn't a short-term play. This is definitely something that's meant to be more long-term. All right, so now after you do that, you'll hit uh, start mining with NiceHash, create a new NiceHash account. I already have a NiceHash account, so I am going to sign in, but you create a NiceHash account if you don't have one, and yeah, I'll meet y'all in the next step. All right, so one thing that you'll notice on my screen is uh, you'll see I have one rig active, and that is actually gonna be my friend's PC. 
Uh, I'm uh, mining Bitcoin off his PC and I've kind of just been letting that run in the background. Uh, so that's what that is. And it's only been going for about five days. And at the moment it's getting about $2.83 per hour. This is the total Bitcoin I've earned for the past few days of mining. That aside, uh, let's get into what you need to do in order to mine with this PC right here. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to mining. And on the screen, you can see um, the profitability change. You'll notice the uh, profitability changes uh, from here and there. It's gonna fluctuate. I've seen it go as high as like $9 a day and as low as probably about $2.50 a day. So yeah, this right here definitely fluctuates. Um, this is how much I haven't been paid. They pay out about every four hours. And this is the total amount I've made over the past four or five days. So it's, it's not too bad. The hash speed is 58.45. Um, just a bunch of statistics. It shows you um, the temperature of your RAM, the speed, the power, everything. That's It's nice. Now, um, when it comes to downloading the software on your computer, uh, what you're going to want to do is hit download miner or add ASIC. And... I'm going to do that and then you're going to select one of these. Um, so right here, nice hash quick miner is recommended for NVIDIA. Um, there's nice hash miner, nice hash OS. And then you can, this is if you have something just built solely for mining, like a mining rig. All right. So since I have a NVIDIA graphic card, I have a 3070, I'm going to click on this one. And one thing that you're going to need to do is you're actually going to need to um, disable your Windows Defender for a moment. So I'm going to click on that. And yeah, right here, it kind of tells you, and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to type down here, I'm going to search for Windows Defender. Right after I download this, I will turn it back on, but I'm going to go to GitHub. So I'm going to click the go to GitHub and I am going to download. All right, so right here, Click download the installer here and right here you see it's ready so it's opening the file and do you want to allow it to make the changes to your device I'm going to hit yes and now I'm just going to hit download and install and it's successfully installed okay and then you're going to want to enter your Bitcoin mining address right here okay so right here it actually allows you to get your mining address right here and what you're going to want to do is copy and paste, copy the mining address and paste it right here. Click OK. And you should be good to go. I'm going to want to close that out. And I'm going to refresh this. And now, as you can see, I now have a second worker. Um, the second one doesn't appear to be quite as efficient as the first. But yeah, got a second worker and, and that is going to be how you set up and mine in your spare time. So one thing to be said about crypto mining is you're not really losing anything by mining in your free time or like me, I'm just letting this mine until it pays itself off. And then once it pays itself off, it's just extra money. So um, the way I look at this is an investment. Bitcoin and other cryptos are not doing the best right now. And really uh, at the moment, it's kind of like taking a gamble. Um, in my position where I bought this specifically to mine. But with the way things are moving, um, although things seem to be going against Bitcoin in the short term, I believe that in the long run, this will prove to be uh, something that I do not regret. And over time, uh, while I have like $15 on this right now, after a few days, now that I have two kind of going for me, uh, this it will kind of pick up the pace of things. And I just love the fact that the value of um bitcoin ethereum and all sorts of other crypto is should only go up over time uh yeah it's probably going to go down in the short term but yeah that is how you set up your pc to run uh to mine in your spare time um when you're not gaming when you're not editing when you don't need that graphics card yo put it to work make some money but yo that's going to do it for this video if you enjoyed this video or learn anything Hey, make sure that you destroy that like button. It really helps to support the channel and I appreciate it as well. And also, if you have any questions 
or comments on anything, any improvements you think I can make, anything like that, hey, I'm all ears. I really appreciate you. And uh, last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching and peace.